guys, welcome back to another episode of Jack Hates Games, where we play some more Dark Souls. Well, I play some more Dark Souls, I'm trying not to fucking die. When we last left off, I got a cool-ass dragon sword. Unfortunately, it's not very, very sturdy, so we had to not use it right now. So I'm just going to use the sword, great sword for this, or the uh, sure long sword for the second. Also, while we're here, I'm going to head to the Blight Town, which is the next place I'm going to go. But while I'm also here, I want to do some stuff. First of all, I'm not going to leave this guy. I'm not going to touch this guy, because this guy's pretty cool. He's pretty chillax. Also, guys, if you're if you're using my playthrough, maybe for a guide in future times, if you want to play Dark Souls, I recommend it highly. Love this game. And I do not like people using my this as a guide, because it's a terrible guide. But if you do, uh, and you get this far, well, here's a little hint, right? So you go over here, and here's a nonchalant zombie. But there's little stairs here. And you're probably thinking, there's nothing down here, there's nothing down here, there's nothing down here. But, turn to your left, and there's a blacksmith! And I miss this guy. I miss this guy, like, until, like, about mm, three quarters of the way through the game. Well, this is unusual. You haven't lost your head. And more importantly, you're free. How are Well, I should... I'm Ricky of Vinheim. I was once an established smith, so... Can you believe it? So this guy is a, um, is a smith, and... What is it? Have you... Hang on. So Vin, I think Vinheim is kind of like the, uh, yeah. yeah. Forge yeah. weapons, albeit minimal tools, I'm sure you have the best in Vinheim. Okay, so Vinheim is actually, oh, I can actually reinforce my, and repair my equipment! Yay! Fix my drag strike sword. Cool. So, um, Vinheim's actually kind of like the Hogwarts of this thing. It's like, I, if I'm getting this right, I'm probably getting this wrong, I'm probably butchering this lore. But I believe it is actually like a magic school or like a wizard with not wizardry a mage school in the actual in this actual game which is actually very cool and this guy's actually from it he's a smith so he's like a he's in a i was talking i talked about a divine smith there you go he can turn like holy weapons and stuff like that which is pretty sweet person um, does he have anything i don't use magic so i can't really use that can i talk to him what is it it's not yeah like talk about book post yeah okay no no else okay cool and that's really handy that's really handy to have right beside the uh, filing shrine. Also, while we're here, I want to get one or two items. I just saw lying around because I killed I killed some of the uh, some of the lurker zombies are hanging around here. Just because I was just like I'm just gonna kill time, export and stuff, audio and such. So first of all, I didn't kill this guy because he was right beside the uh, items. I'm just gonna sorry, buddy. He was not expecting that. So I'm just gonna take that. Oh, nest talk, nice. What's that again? <laughs> I love how I say it. it's nice, and then I don't know what it is. The thrusting sword, large steel thrusting sword, computers, armored knights, and one thrust. One thrust. Eh, it's kind of limp. I'm gonna use just go up to my regular one. So yeah, um, I'm actually kind of excited about this because I actually really enjoy Blight Town in this game. Be it, you'll see, but a lot of people are not happy with Blight Town in Dark Souls because the frame rate is not fantastic. Also, this guy's like just chilling out. I'm just gonna. And let's just pray beside him. Yeah. Yes, pray to the that that big. It's not the moon. It's just like a regular thing. Also, as I was talking last episode, that is the ghost town. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fight there for the minute. But if my memory serves me right, and it probably does, I believe I get the skull. Ah, the transient cross. I do get. Okay, my memory did serve me right. So that lets me basically interact. Okay. So <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, I said there, there's the ghost town. There's the ghost town over there. But basically, with regular weapons or without any like magic spells, you can't really interact with the um with the ghosts because they're obviously translucent and you can't actually attack them. So the one way to get around that is using a transient curse, which basically lets you um attack zombies, not zombies, ghosts. Thank you. So I just went through that door and I used my master key to get out, and I'm going this way. And this way, that way there, that big hole there, is where Blighton is. And the goal for this episode is actually to get to the bonfire in Blighton. And as you j actually, if, if you guys noticed, there was a, like a subtle, and when I say subtle, I mean went from blue to green. There was a subtle uh, kind of palette change in the colour. So this is Blighton, and the whole job, the whole like thing of it is, it's like, oh, it's all disease and stuff like that, and it's blight. And I think that's pretty cool. I think the Palatine change thing is actually pretty cool. Uh, hang on, see if I can get his attention. So this... Oh no. Oh god, I got two of them. I'm not ready to fight these guys right now. I'm not ready to fight two of them at once. I can actually get a backstab on them, I believe. 
So these are, uh, I believe there's ogres. Whoa! Okay, hang on, that did a lot more damage than I expected to do. So I can get backstabs on them. My memory serves me right. And... Yeah! Backstab! And he can't hit me when I'm in backstab mode. And he can hit me when I'm coming out of it. I should have probably equipped the, um, the dragon sword. That would have been much handier and much more powerful. Damn it. <laughs> These are like the gig guardians of this place. I can't get past them. Okay, I got one. That's one down. Want to go? Oh, so these guys are really gross because their their item drops are all. Uh, let's see if I can actually get one. Hang on, come on. There you go. Get locked in animation. Thank you. And you're dead. Does he drop it? Does he drop it? He doesn't drop it. Thank you, guy. There we go. Whew. Ah, yay! So they all drop dung pie. Thank you for that, ogre guy. Ah, uh, that's really helpful. I think I don't think it actually does much damage to or does any effects. I think it poisons people. I don't freaking know. I'm not gonna use it anyway. Then use it in my other playthrough. I'm actually happy that I'm playing this game with a playthrough under my belt. Not completed, but at least like far enough into the game where I'm pretty confident about it. Because I've been thinking, um, a few people on Twitter and stuff like that have been talking about maybe next series of uh, something like this. Maybe Dark Souls Two. But of course, I've never played Dark Souls 2, because I've heard not good things about it. And now, with Dark Souls 3 coming out, I kind of want to play 2. But of course, 2 is on the Xbox One as well, so I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of debating what to do. But, if you guys have actually any ideas, why not leave it in the comments? I actually want to hear- I want more game ideas, because I have like- I have a list. I have like a list of games I want to actually play. But, uh, I always like, um, I always like feedback. I'm just going to take this- I, I equipped the Partisan because, well, you guys will friggin' see these Well, oh, also, by the way, welcome to Blight Town. It fucking sucks here. Oh, so, there's a whole thing with Blight Town. So, anyone who's, like, proficient in games kind of know, like, oh, yeah, f FPS and stuff like that. Well, Blight Town is a fucking mess when it comes to uh, frames per second and stuff like that. So, the framework completely dips in this uh, section of the game. That's the only really noticeable section in the whole game that actually has this problem. And uh, it's only certain sections when you look at them that has the problem. Uh, it's it's just so much in the area that's like visible at once. I think that's what does it the most. So uh, that sucks. But um, let's just try to get our way through Blight Town slowly and not uh, die. Okay, so you're probably wondering, Jack, why exactly are you using this f uh, spear? And the reason is because of these guys. So they're like... I don't even know what they are. They're like gross like bug things. And they can knock my shield, apparently. Hang on. Oh, shit. Where can I... Do I have any fault here? I have fault in here. Okay. Cool. Right. Yeah, these are gross, like... Whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck? What the shit? Oh, God. Oh, God. What the fuck? Hang on. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hang on. Oh, this is not... This is not good. Oh, this is not good. Okay, I'm toxic. Da -da 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 -da. Like the, um... Like the, uh, Britney Spears song. Yes. Ha, ha, ha. Hang on, where's the thing? Do I have a thing? Do I have a... Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, oh, okay. Does that work? Did that work? Oh, it worked. Okay, cool. So, as I was say, I was using spear because of those gross um, bug things. Because they're dicks. So, I'm just going to go in this way. Okay, so this is the make or break point of this series because if I don't make this uh, jump, I will die. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, whoa, oh. Ooh! Okay, man! Oh, awesome! Okay. We're doing good. We are doing good. Okay, cool. Oh, God, the frame rate. You guys can't see it. Oh, yeah, you can see it. It's not my chair. It's actually not my capture. It's like having that really gross uh, situation going on with the screen. It's actually the game because it struggles to play Blight Town. So that's a bit of a problem. Hey, what's up? I'm just gonna. Hey, what's up? Yep, I'm just gonna... We're just around the corner as well from the... From the... What's it called? Oh no! Oh god, we've got an invader! Oh god, this is the first invader! Okay, guys! Oh, oh hello! Hello! Hey, buddy! Okay, so, uh... Remember when I, um, asked someone to join my game? Okay, so this won't make any sense. Uh, I, um... Okay, it was... 
Uh, I have like still there on that witch lady uh, join my game. Well, basically, this is uh, the same situation, but the only difference is this person's trying to actually kill me. But it's not actually doing a very good job. Thank God. And he's, uh, she is gone. That was actually really easy. Yeah, what was that? What you got? You're not on me. Hey, you're vanquished. Oh, whoa. That's a lot of souls. Humanity required. Pick up item. Humanity. Butcher knife. Cool. And if I'm right around the corner is... Ball fire! Yes, light that shit! There we go. Light that shit. Level up. So while I'm here, I'm going to go up this way. So, welcome to Blight Town. I've actually successfully did the thing that I wanted to do in this episode. So I'm pretty happy with that. And this means that we're drawing ever closer to the very next blo boss. The next boss. And this is where I get a little bit squeaky, squeaky bum time. Because I'm not sure if I can defeat this boss. That's a nice chest. Dragon skill, yay. I'm actually kind of worried about the next boss. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to defeat her. I'm really not sure about this. But... I will persist, and since I'm here, and since I've actually conquered my goal of the next like, few episodes, I think I'm going to call this an episode. Thank you guys for watching, as always, if you want to see more videos like this, always hit that, always hit the subscribe button. Guys, if you want to see more games of me being played, if you want to see more games that I play, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and comment, all that stuff. Guys, thank you for watching, and bye-bye! Bye-bye, 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 goodbye! Hey guys, thank you for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, why not hit that subscribe button? Also, while you're here, why not like and comment? And if you want to see more videos of me playing video games, and keep up to date with me personally, why not check out my Facebook and my Twitter and also my Tumblr? I just want to give a shout out to everyone who actually has been telling me recently that they've been really enjoying the series and my latest videos. I want to just give a shout out to David Keane, I want to give a shout out to Robert, Tony, everyone else who's actually talked to me and told me that, hey, Jack, you're kind of funny. Don't stop making videos, man. Also, huge, huge, huge shout out to the man, the myth, the legend, Steve, or aka Lemony Fresh, who does all of my art and is probably one of my best friends. And he, uh, you know, he gives me shit. I give him shit, but it's a loving relationship. So, Steve, I love you, baby. And uh, don't quit what you're doing because, you know, you're an up and comer like that. Okay, guys, thank you for watching and goodbye.